All right, guys, welcome back to the third episode of Music in the Making. So we've seen two solo artists, and now we've got our very own first duo here on the show, and they are... Island Deer. Island Deer. Hello. <laughs> so you guys want to tell us a bit more about yourselves and how you guys first met? All right, uh, I'm Michael, and he's Christian, Christian. and we are Island Deer. So basically, we're a duo. Uh, like, when we play live, we're a full band, but like, two of us do the do all the things like from writing the songs to recording to producing it uh. so we've only started releasing songs this year so we're relatively new uh. like only this year we've been playing gigs and mm -hmm. releasing stuff and we're slowly releasing more songs until we release an album Which around is, next year uh. yeah next year so next year's your goal to push out your very first album yes yeah so right now, uh, y'all just been like dabbling in gigs and all that, starting from this year. But when did y'all guys first form? Oh, we formed... Islandia itself, we formed last year. But we've been doing mu playing music together since, since 2014. Yeah. We met in Bali. 2014. So that's think, five yeah. years. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so like fun fact they've actually uh, graduated with a diploma in like audio technology from Singapore Polytechnic so if there are any Singapore uh, Singapore Polytechnic like uh, viewers out there here's your alumni I love SP great fun <laughs> fun fond memories yeah <laughs> love I mean like were there like were there any challenges y'all face like um being in a band while studying music um, or audio not, technology? Not from our course. Because not our really, course yeah. was like music, a music course. So mm. it's kind of like you're working and studying the the what you're thing, studying. Yeah. So it's like they kind of encourage you to do, to try out playing and everything. Because it's all, it all ends up being practice for mm -hmm. school. It's like mm. studying <laughs> or like an internship. So <laughs> yeah, it's all kind of win-win mm. on both yeah. ends. Then when did y'all realize that when y'all uh, graduated or maybe like sometime later, y'all wanted like Island Deer to be a serious thing or music to be a serious thing? I think, I think since the start, yeah, like, I think it's a very a serious start. thing. Uh. Yeah, I mean, we wouldn't have got a diploma in music if we didn't consider it yeah. being a career. I think it was serious at the start. Uh. Then, like, slowly can, like, became more, yeah, more, uh, more serious. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, now we're super serious yeah. people. <laughs> You're gonna be <laughs> like, more music, serious yeah. after that. Yeah. So that means y'all went into polytechnic knowing y'all will be musicians one day. Knowing that we try. Yeah. Okay, try. <laughs> I but mean, then yeah. how did y'all end up like making the decision at like, I don't know, 16, right? Because six, you'll be in you'll be 17 when you go to your first year of poly. Like yeah. a lot of people wouldn't like make the decision at 16, like, oh, this is my career choice. So how did y'all derive and come to wow, that conclusion? That's a good question. I think for me, I just wanted to do something like after secondary school I want to do something that I would enjoy <laughs> yeah like music was the like the top thing that I enjoyed at that time like I'd rather do something that I would enjoy than do something that I would think that's boring mm. like after secondary school so yeah. it's like the uh, do what you love instead of like doing what gives you the big bucks. Yeah. Yes. Correct. <laughs> then what about you, Christian? Oh, I couldn't get into JC. <laughs> <laughs> so that was off the table. <laughs> and then... Uh, well, As a JC that. student, yeah, I, I, I could... can't help but feel a bit sad. But okay. Yeah, some of us can't get into JC. <laughs> but it's okay. I suppose... Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Right. I mean, no regrets JC now, won. right? Yeah, no regrets. <laughs> I don't know. I just I think I always wanted to do music. So mm -hmm. it's like the first the first major step was to get to study it properly. So I tried it out. Uh, it wasn't like a definite I could have got in because my points didn't let me get in anyways. So I had to audition and all that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So I didn't know if I would have gotten in anyways. Mm. So it was just like okay, let's try this and see how it goes. They you never looked me. back ever since. Yeah. So Aww. and I was the last person. To audition. Oh, seriously? Yeah, oh, I was the last Ooh. person. So there was like so much pressure on you. I didn't know until I went into the room. Then there was no one waiting behind me. And then they said, then I asked them, am I the last person? Then they say, yeah. Then I said, oh, maybe you should just let me in now that we can all go home. <laughs> then they all kind of forced out a laugh. Nice. But then around like a laugh. month later, I got accepted. So. Aww. Such cute inspirational stories for all you uh, viewers when y'all maybe want to be an aspiring musician one day. Yeah. Maybe y'all can start deciding from 16. I mean, like, 
if you're past 16, that's still okay. But what are you, uh, what kind of music are you guys listening to right now? Or like, you know, do you guys listen to your own music? Of course. Yeah, uh, you have to listen to yourself yeah. to get, to improve yourself. Yeah. <laughs> what am I listening to? Let me check my Spotify. Yeah, yeah, y'all can check your Spotify. Remember. Oh, I've been listening to like, <laughs> this like, compilation from this guy called, oh, I, 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 I oh, is it the one you showed it. me? Yeah, his name is Ares. I hope I pronounce it right. Erasmus Carlos. Oh, I hope that's correct. <laughs> we and can then, fact check that for you. Yeah, he has this. My girlfriend introduced it to me. So he does like bossa mixed with like. Bossa. Is that psycho- a genre? Yeah, bossa, bossa nova. nova. Ah, oh, okay. That's short. Erasmo Carlos. Okay. Erasmo. It's like a compilation from like 1941 to 1972. Ooh. Yeah, and it's like bossa, rock and roll, and psychedelic music and I feel like it's very indie in it's like, like, like today's indie right? yeah it feels like today's indie but like the OG version and it's not even in English that's nice <laughs> so it's the whole album is like what I've been listening to like on loop and then Michael what's your uh, uh, music playlist I've been listening to a lot of old stuff like random from the 60s I don't even oh my god all I, the evergreen hits no not even that like the the songs that didn't make it to like the evergreen status. Ah. The indie so songs it kind of sounds time. like an old song that is familiar. Like it might have been featured in a movie or something. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like that, this. What the world means yeah, now. Yeah, the Burt Bacharach song. Yeah. So what's your favourite uh, song from that like playlist right now? It's or like one that you just keep listening again and again and again? It's called What the World Needs Now mm. by Burt Bacharach. But a lot of people covered it. Uh. Like oh. even until today the frontman of My Morning Jacket covered it. I think mm-hmm. that's the most recent one. Uh. Mm-hmm. But it's a very like classic song that not a lot of people know, I think. It's just kind of popular in like, certain very, movies. you're very hipster, uh, then you, yeah. you've heard it before. Okay, or your mom I'm, plays it. Clearly, I'm not <laughs> hipster enough. But, okay, so has all these like music inspirations like been influencing your original songs? Yes. Yeah. And I think most of it is like subconsciously like we, we mm. didn't even like mean for it to be an influence but it's just there <laughs> like, all these influences I think there's this we have this song that we wrote together like the mm. lyrics and everything and then my mom told me it's like it's almost a covered copy of another song like the lyrics mm. and the key and everything yeah so it's like it's just somewhere inside everything kind of correlates yeah and we don't even sometimes we don't know we try not to <laughs> consciously copy mm. But sometimes it comes out yeah, that way still. Fault, it's not our fault. Yeah. yeah. But at least you all get to fact check with each other. Even your parents in yeah. this case. Yeah. Their input is like... <laughs> they give a lot of input. <laughs> it's very stressful. <laughs> so that means your both your parents are actually very supportive of your career in music. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very supportive. Super. His parents are the best. Yeah. They come for every gig. Oh. You know what I mean? My parents just come to our gigs. Yeah. They'll be there. So, okay, to all the fangirls out there, if you want to meet uh, Michael's parents, <laughs> go, yeah. to, go, to, his, go to their gigs. Yeah, please come. Yeah, to my parents gigs. won't come because they're lazy, but you can They'll meet still support parents. in spirit, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they'll listen to the recording and say, how come you so, how come you talk so loud? Oh. <laughs> but then, yeah. I hope that <laughs> Islandia's parents are listening to this and because they can't, you know, be physically down here at the Broadcast it's Entertainment Studio to <laughs> support. Your parents like to the side. <laughs> I think that would be really cute. But I think maybe if they are watching this, hi to Islandia parents. I guess in a few moments, y'all will be listening to their music. So let's head over to the site studio yeah. and we'll get to hear that original song in just a little bit.
This is so damn hard to chase Maybe the real displays are already commonplace It's got me thinking like I gotta tell a different kind of story With a little bit It's got me thinking oh, 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 oh. Why can't you do it your own way? Yeah. Tell me how you're gonna do it your way I know someday we can't ever run away oh. Tell me how you gonna do it your way I know someday we can't ever run away Oh, 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 oh. got me thinking oh, oh, oh Why can't you do it? So, um, was this song like, when did y'all come up with this, or like, when was this in the works? Oh, wanna tell the story? Yeah. So, uh, when we were in poly, there was a group assignment that we had to write and record a song, mm-hmm. like an original. So we were in different groups, and then his group, uh, used this song which he wrote. So, uh, I listened to it after we finished the project. And then I was so inspired by the song that I asked him to, <laughs> to <laughs> I asked him to form a band with me and then he said yes. So this song sparked the whole six band, year yeah. thing. So cliche was the song that Yes, the trio. Yeah. That you know like in the Island movie, Year. Yeah, like in yeah. the movies where there's that's that one song that's like the oh, main song. But Cliche it's will be that main song. going to be your fourth or fifth single. Yeah, it's the fourth single leading up, eighth mm-hmm. fifth single leading up to the <laughs> album. Yeah. So right. it's the yeah, it's the bridge between our singles and mm-hmm. the entirety. So if you had this song all the way from the very beginning of your poly days, why didn't you want to like make it? Good question. Yeah, we had like two other versions of it. Like the there's a group project one, mm-hmm. then there's one we did. With another like, friend. Yeah, that was still during poly. And then we just, we weren't like planning on releasing anything during poly. Uh. Like when NS came along, that period, we spent that whole period writing. Because mm-hmm. we couldn't, there was, no, well, there was no time to like produce during NS. La, so we were just writing all the way. <laughs> so after NS, we have like a bunch of songs. So now we're just slowly releasing them. And the previous, the first releases were like more, more like upbeat mm. kind of songs that people will usually like at the start. Uh. Uh-huh. So yeah, so now the fifth song that we're going to release is Cliche, uh, which is more, not chill. as upbeat, like more chill. chill uh. mm. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that's the song that started the whole band. Uh. 
<laughs> As in like you said during your NS days, you were busy writing and pro- uh, all these like songs. So you just like had that at the back of your or like the back of like your uh, storage list, but yeah, just slowly kinda. released. We didn't really yeah. have time to meet, uh, so it was just like okay, let's just write until we are done with NS. Mm. And Brandon, then, can you yeah. vouch for if he wrote a lot during NS? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because fun fact, our cameraman is actually from the same like batch, same batch, uh. same batch yeah. as uh, Michael from Island Girl. Good service with you, uh. yeah. Yay. It's a small world, but yes, I think like we should make we should spice up this interview a little bit, and I think we should ask y'all a little bit more fun questions. So you know, you guys were telling me that y'all uh did uh audio technology as a diploma in polytechnic, right? And that's how y'all met. Mm-hmm. So now my question for you guys is. If you didn't do music, what would be the other career path y'all would have gone into? Because y'all were saying y'all love music so much. But if, let's say, people, your parents didn't support it, where would you have gone instead? Jeez. Hmm. I'll probably, like, try, like, study a different kind of art. But then I don't think my parents would support that also if they don't support <laughs> music in the first place. <laughs> yeah. But like some something like literature, I mm. think for mm. me. Uh, I was thinking like history for me. Oh. So y'all yeah. would just study different forms of like art. Yeah. We'd find art in other things, I guess. Yeah. Oh. So y'all would never consider like <laughs> banking, finance know. or you know uh, not really uh, oh. no interest. Uh, yeah, really. there's no uh, yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no offense. Yeah. No, no offense to any of like the very all those people in like you know taking business or finance or like you know science. You know everyone has their own choice in life. Another question I wanted to ask you guys is that if there was one uh musician or one artist that you guys want to collaborate with in the future, who would it be? Anybody. What? Any, is it anyone? <laughs> uh, yeah, all? anyone in the world. Maybe you guys have the same answer, or y'all have. He's still alive, so Paul McCartney. <laughs> yeah. That, okay, that's like the obvious, like, what, like, obviously, right? Yeah, but he's like, he's not in his prime, uh. <laughs> <laughs> And now? Yeah, he's not, he's not, he's not, he's not, he's still, like, he's not. really good, uh. <laughs> but yeah, than th- I, okay. that's, like, the easiest answer to give, I think. Like, you can't say no to Paul yeah. McCartney. Mm-hmm. But, like, if, like, someone modern, like, I, I would say Matt Hebe from 1975. Mm. I was thinking Jack White. Okay. Yeah, because he can play everything, and we also can. They kind of look the same, uh. Yeah. So, <laughs> I don't know. If he wanted to play drums, he could play drums for us. If he wanted to play guitar, then one of us could yeah. play drums. That's the dream. Yeah. <laughs> so y'all have like him as your musician, or to help y'all with like writing songs. Everything. Everything from like I production to music video to. Yeah, we just yeah. want to meet them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. So, um, your outreach is like growing slowly from Singapore to you know just now behind the scenes you're saying something about like Australia like there was someone that sourced for oh you <laughs> <laughs> what Sorry. is this a there was an art exhibition like pop up thing and mm-hmm. then this girl from Australia she's not Australian but she studies there mm-hmm. she asked if our song could be used as like the not I won't say theme song. It's just she used our song for like the promo videos to promote the event, uh. and like it got played during like the event itself. Yeah, was that great it. publicity? But I hope so. I, I don't. So. I don't. Yeah, I guess so. Any publicity, Anybody. now it would be good publicity yeah. for us. Mm-hmm. Especially since you're like up and growing, and that's why they're all here with us at SME Broadcast and Entertainment. Mm-hmm. I think one last parting question I have for you guys would be. If you guys had any advice to give to your fans at all, you know, be it like music, uh, having a career, or like doing what you love, mm-hmm. what would it be to your fans out there? Don't use straws. Yes, just drink from the cup. And watch that Greta Thunberg video mm-hmm. every morning until there's no more cl- climate crisis, okay? Yeah. And our, our basis said that the world... Eh, Sing- no, Singapore is going to experience a snow, an ice, ice age. age within the next 30 years. He's either crazy <laughs> or a few fortune teller. Yeah. So buy your heat tech from Uniqlo now. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored. But, you know, Singapore now is so hot. I'm so yeah, confused. He said the world 
can uh, like will go through stages where it heats up and it will dip in temperature, and uh, the Earth knows how to cool itself down. And I don't believe him. I don't know what to yeah. believe anymore. Wow. So, but I still. I don't know. Maybe it's yeah. right. How how do you know? Thirty years down the road, mm. what's gonna happen? Mm. I mean, you know, safety. Eh? No, prevention is better than cure. Yes, that is the saying I wanted to yeah. end with. And that is all for this third episode. So this has been Michael and Christian, and they are from Island Deer. So if you guys want to find out more about their music and you know see them all in their uh, social media platforms. We'll link them down below in the description. So you guys have. Thank you guys so much for you, coming down you. to the studio. I guess, I hope you guys had fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, you know. For sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> as much fun as you could have yeah. at 9 o'clock. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh